Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a battery charging test between the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra versus the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And the iPhone 13 Pro Max has a 4,352 mAh of battery size with a 20 watt fast charging support, while the Samsung has a massive 5,000 mAh of battery size with a 45 watt fast charging support. In the box, we does not get any charger with these few devices. On the back, we have triple cameras versus a quad cameras. On the back, we have dual ion glass on the iPhone while on the Samsung we have a coring Gorilla Glass Victus Plus and the frame of the iPhone is a stainless steel while the Samsung has an aluminium frame on the front we have a ceramic shield on the iPhone while on the Samsung again we have a coring Gorilla Glass Victus Plus we have curved display versus a flat display so right now and the battery percentage on both these two devices it is at 0% and you can see no battery on both phones also who does not have any sim card so in this video i'm going to show you how much time is required to fully charge these two devices from zero percent to 100 percent first let me show the charger and you can see here is the apple official 20 watt adapter and you can see here is some pay rating we have a usb type c2 lightning cable with the iphone and here is a samsung 25 watt adapter while the samsung is also support 45 watt but I seen some videos and the difference between the 25 watt versus the 45 watt is not that much and this charger is also a lot cheaper as compared to the 45 watt this charger is also more common these days as compared to the 45 watt also in the box we have this cable which is a USB type C to USB type C and guys here is the power socket so now let's insert these charges into the power socket like this the power source it is also on so now let's calculate the time on my samsung galaxy a52 s 5g now let's insert the cables into the phone first on the samsung and second on the iphone also turn on the stopwatch as well we have a charging indicator on the samsung while on the iphone we are not seeing anything because i did not plug in the cable properly now we also have a charging indicator on this phone so now i will see you after some time because the iphone is automatically on when it hit some level so now i will see you at that level and guys you can see that iphone it is automatically after almost two minutes and you can see so we have a two percent battery on the iphone and guys you can see everything it is off on this phone it does not have any sim card location is on on the iphone wi-fi and bluetooth it is off so first let me go to the settings now let's go to the battery again we have a hundred percent battery on this phone and guys also now let's turn off the optimized battery charging on the samsung it does not have any battery percentage yet available and guys you can see after almost about seven minutes and the samsung is now showing me a percentage and this phone is dead for the last one day so that is why this phone is taking a lot of time from 0% to 1% so now let's quickly boot this phone up as well to make the test more fair and now let's wait for the samsung you can see we have a 2% battery on this phone so now let's turn on the location as well because the location it is also on on the iphone so now let's go to the battery let's go to the battery section and you can see i disable this for protect battery option wi-fi and bluetooth it is off on this phone who does not have any sim card on this phone as well now i will see you at 15 minutes we have a 12 percent battery on the iphone so iphone is taking the lead because of this issue on the samsung so now i will see you at 15 minutes okay guys i'm back after 15 minutes for battery charging so now let's see battery percentage on the iphone first so on the iphone we have 22 percent battery so while on the samsung we have a 12 percent battery again minus the seven minutes so now i will see you at 30 minutes okay guys i'm back after 30 minutes of battery charging so now let's see the battery percentage on the iphone so the iphone is charged 41 percent in 30 minutes of battery charging so now let's see the battery percentage on the samsung s22 ultra at 37 minutes because this phone is charged after almost seven minutes so guys and 37 minutes is complete so now let's see the battery percentage on the samsung on the samsung we have 48% battery and you can see this phone is charged 
48% in 30 minutes of battery charging while the iPhone is charged 41% in 30 minutes of battery charging and the Samsung is way faster in terms of the battery charging device we have a 7% difference between these devices so now I will see you at 45 minutes then we will see the battery percentage on the iPhone okay guys as you can see 45 minutes is complete now let's see battery percentage on the iPhone so on the iPhone we have 61% battery and this phone is charged about 60% in 45 minutes of battery charging the Samsung it is also at 61% so we will see the exact battery percentage of the Samsung at 52 minutes so now I will see you at 52 minutes okay guys and you can see and 52 minutes is complete now let's see the battery percentage on the samsung we have 72 percent battery so you can see and the samsung is way ahead in terms of the battery charging wise and while the iphone is charged only 61 percent in 45 minutes of battery charging so now i will see you at one hour and then we will see the battery percentage on the iphone so now i will see you at 60 minutes okay guys i'm back after almost 62 minutes now let's see the battery percentage on the iPhone we have 79% battery and you can see this phone is charged about 79% in 62 minutes of battery charging so we will see the battery on the Samsung at 1 hour and 9 minutes so now I will see you at 1 hour and 9 minutes okay guys you can see I am back at 1 hour and 9 minutes now let's see the battery percentage on the Samsung so on the Samsung we have 94% battery so this phone is charged 94% in 62 minutes of battery charging so the iPhone is charged about 79% in 62 minutes of battery charging and you can see and the difference is a lot between these devices in terms of the battery charging wise and this time the S22 Ultra is a more faster in terms of the battery charging wise as compared to the previous S21 Ultra so now I will see you when my Samsung S22 Ultra is hit 100% fully charged let's see that how much time is required after the 62 minutes mark okay guys as you can see and the Samsung S22 Ultra is hit 100% fully charged in 1 hour and 10 minutes and the Samsung S22 Ultra is performing really really good in that area so now let's see the battery percentage on the iPhone so on the iPhone we have 85% this phone is hit 85% in 1 hour and 18 minutes so now let's wait for the iPhone okay guys I'm back and my iPhone 13 Pro Max is hit 100% fully charged in 2 hours and 5 minutes after disabling the optimized battery charging in my previous battery charging test you know that the iPhone 13 Pro Max is hit 100% fully charged in 2 hours and 16 minutes this time this phone is hit 100% fully charged in 2 hours and 5 minutes and you can see and the Samsung S22 Ultra is hit 100% fully charged in 1 hour and 10 minutes while the iPhone 13 Pro Max is hit 100% in 2 hours and 5 minutes and you can see so the battery charging speed it is really really fast on the Samsung and the 25W super fast charging on the Samsung it is much faster as compared to the 20W on the iPhone also we have bigger battery on the Samsung. That's about it. And thank you so much for watching this battery charging test between the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra versus the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.